<laughs> yeah, in the middle of a class, it's kind of scary. All right, I did start this, so anytime you're ready, we all can settle down. All right, so at a show of hands, how many people have gone to Perkins and had one of their mammoth muffins? Almost everybody. No, they're pretty good. They are. They're very good. Well, there in one serving is one muffin, one mammoth muffin. It is 550 oh calories. That's intense. That's like a quarter of my mouth. <laughs> 26 grams of fat, 78 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. You can like see all the sugar on top of it. Yes, it's the, in, a, in a blueberry mammoth muffin from Perkins. This is just the muffin. So, it's an option at Perkins to get a meal and then get the muffin on the side instead of a, a thing of pancakes. So, if you got a blueberry muffin and a Denver omelet, you would be eating 1,100 calories, 50 grams of fat, 126 grams of carbs, and 29 grams of protein. That is, leaves you with 30, or 350 calories for the rest of your day. Go to breakfast and eat just a Denver omelet and a muffin, and you have 350 calories the rest of the day to eat with two meals. So, we talked about last class what you need for a person to be a healthy person. We talked about eating grains, vegetables, fruit, dairy products, protein, and oils, and what that does to the body and how it helps you. So, we are now going to talk about what is needed to make a balanced diet and how you use all of those that we talked about before to create a balanced diet and a balanced meal so you are eating the right amount of foods and vegetables a day. So how much do you need? A day, you get six ounces of grains, two and a half cups of vegetables, two cups of fruit, three cups of dairy, one or five and a half ounces of protein, and um, six teaspoons of oil. So if you have to divide all that by three, if you just eat three meals a day, you would have Two gram or two ounces of grain per meal. So if you eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that's about how much you would eat. So you divide all this by three. If you're going to eat three meals. Now, if you add in snacks, you have to divide that in differently of how you're going to put that in your meal. So what does this all look like? One ounce of a grain is one slice of bread. So remember, you get six. So in, if you're going to eat lunch, you would have two slices of bread on your sandwich, top and bottom, and the stuff in the middle. That's two. You can get six a day, so that would be around the same. Um, vegetables, one cup of raw vegetables, that's one medium potato. Um, a cup of fruit is around six um, large strawberries. Um, or a cup of 100% vegetable juice, or you do the same with fruit as well. So milk, a cup of milk. One cup of yogurt, so one of those Yoplait yogurts is one cup. Um, uh, protein, one egg is one um, ounce of protein, and then teaspoons, um, a good way to measure out teaspoons of oil is at the tip of your finger, if it's more than that, it is not, it is more than a teaspoon. So if you're going to put dressing on your salad, think about just the top of your finger, that amount of salad dressing. So if you're putting more than that on your oh, salad, if you put four of those on your salad, that's four teaspoons, and you're only supposed to have three. So this is what a balanced meal would look like. You could eat this for lunch or dinner. You have your fruit, your vegetables, and green beans, your protein of um, chicken, and then your, your grains, and then a glass of milk. So that's a, a balanced meal. So what do you need? So remember, when you're making a balanced meal, not everybody eats every kind of food. So what happens when a person doesn't eat, pro, uh, doesn't eat meat? You gotta think of the other options that they could eat. So they could eat, if they eat eggs, if they eat, eat peanut butter, you gotta mix and match. So when you're making a, a important thing to remember is when you're cooking for other people, when you have guests over or you have kids and your kids' friends don't eat stuff, you have to adjust your meal, your meal for that night or when you're feeding them to have everybody so that everybody can eat. So this is some examples, and I'll keep this up here so you can look. But now we're going to do an activity. You're going to get, there's going to be um, one group of three and then three groups of two, and you're going to pick out a person, and it kind of describes the person, and you're going to have to make a meal. It doesn't matter. It can be breakfast, lunch, or dinner, and you're going to make a balanced meal for them. So partner up. Me and Liz. 
Hey, Chloe. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. I don't know what we're doing. Well, we're picking a family and making a meal for them. And we can walk, look at this. Okay. I don't know. Let's hope we get something to eat. Yeah. Okay. Should I get this? Yep. <laughs> Chad is having fun. Silly Chad. What is your name? Also, we could have kids. If you have questions, let me know. Crap. Start it. Okay. Okay, so we eat <laughs> dairy, eggs, and plants. Okay. So you can have grain, right? Oh no. <clears throat> oh, dairy, eggs, and plant. Oh, yeah, grain. Grain. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Okay, so, so we're going to have to do cheese for protein. Okay. Okay. You can have like a cheese. A grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, let's have a grilled cheese sandwich, and then we need um, broccoli. Broccoli. Any questions? And then. Um, yeah, let's have a fruit salad or a fruit um, plate for dessert. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Tomato soup, grilled cheese. That's a, that's a standard. And then have fruit for dessert. Oh, okay. And then like lots of milk. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Milk too. Because since he doesn't eat the dairy, we can use the cheese for the protein. Okay, that's, so you're going to talk. Oh, you're going to talk. Okay. Yeah, you can, Anna. Okay. Because you're doing it next Monday, so yeah. you're <laughs> whatever. What are you going to change it to? So. Um, I'm not quite sure. Yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think I want to change it to granola. Vitamin supplement, you guys. Yeah, that's what you have, but you don't want to do that anymore. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Good. I just want to make sure at least I know if I can change it. Uh, I think it's just yeah, you can. You have until you present yeah, to change. I mean, I don't hold you to the fire yeah, because know. you have to hand they all this stuff in yeah, that day. Okay. So, the lesson plan. How are we doing? Are we almost done? Yeah. yeah. We'll give you guys three more minutes. You guys so didn't pick the easiest one. Tomato soup counts as vegetable. I, I think it would count as a vegetable. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> it depends what they eat. Tomato, you know, it would have a little bit of maybe. Well, I was thinking you could put milk in it because I know when I make tomato soup, I put milk in it. Yeah, the creamy one. Yeah, and I was thinking like for the oil, you could put that like butter on the bread. When you oh, yeah. Grill it. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you've got it. Everything. Good, it goes. Good. <laughs> I feel like I would stab myself in the first place. Like if I was wearing this shirt. They're so cool. Where'd you get your shirt? My shirt? I got it at Charlotte Roos. Oh, oh, this shoe is. All right. Hurt yourself. Are we done? I feel like I would stab myself. Okay. All right. So we'll do this one as a class. But tomorrow, you guys are going to get back together in your groups and you're going to make a pod. Um, poster board of your meal. So you're gonna find magazines, you'll cut them out, pictures of the foods you picked, and then you'll present it to the class, what your person's name was, what their eat diet needs were, and then you're going to present it to the class. So we can learn um, from everybody's other people's experiences. So we have Matt, who has trouble trying to eat healthy and a balanced meal. Matt does not eat green foods. What would you? What kind of foods would you put in his for his lunch? What could he eat for lunch if he doesn't eat anything green? Cauliflower. Cauliflower for a vegetable. That's good. Yeah. What would you? Eat? He can eat. From, what did you say? I had spinach somewhere. But there's a lot of other foods that aren't green, right? So Sausage. He, he can eat. Yeah. Uh, meats aren't green, so he can eat. His proteins are pretty good. Vegetables. There's a lot of green vegetables, but there's cauliflower he can eat. Carrots, eggplant, eggplant, potatoes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. See, there's a lot of things that if he doesn't eat green foods, he can eat a lot of vegetables that aren't green. What about fruit? 
Strawberry. Apple. Apple. Strawberries. Blueberries. Pineapple. Good. Can be green. Pineapple. Pineapple. See, there's a lot of variety. So yeah, when you say he doesn't eat green foods, right away it's like, oh wow, he can't eat anything. But really, if you think about it, there's a lot of different foods he can eat. Right? So did anybody have any really hard ones that they need help with that we could all brainstorm as a class? Oh, we had vegan. Vegan? So what did you guys decide for food? We had legumes. Or beans. Um, rice. Fruits. And a bunch of other vegetables. And for beverages, we had um, soy or almond milk. Okay. That's good. Does yeah. any, can anybody think of anything else that the person could eat? Those so tofu. Be big for protein. Mm -hmm. They're like one of the only All right, good. So tomorrow in class, we'll do get together again and we'll do our poster boards. And then we'll present our meals to the people, to our rest of our classmates. Any questions? All right. Have a good day. <laughs> you were right at 11 wait, minutes. Question. Yes. Oh. Do we have to provide our own poster board? No. It'll be in class. I have magazines. It's a valid question. It is. It is. So it's All right. <laughs> You're right at um, 11 and a half, 12 minutes.